I'm Jonathan Dye. I'm the founder of Mr. Dye's Pies. We try to do a uh, short menu and uh, try to focus on doing those things really well. So there's a, uh, a pecan pie we do, we call it the Nolan's Pecan. We have a uh, classic sweet potato, and then we also have a sweet potato with a pecan topping. Then we have a, another sweet potato pie called the Purple Monster. It's, a, uh, it's made with an Okinawan purple yam. It's an actual uh, purple sweet potato. It's actually white on the outside. You break it open and they're bright purple. And it's a superfood, so it's really healthy for you as well. These are the uh, sweet potatoes for our uh, sweet potato pie. It's the uh, pie that it uh, started with. People were uh, calling me and they, they wanted me to make them a sweet potato pie. They probably had it at our family reunion or something like that, and uh, friends of the family. And uh, I would never sell them one, but they wanted to buy one. And uh, every once in a while, I would just uh, make up 10 or 12 of them and just give them away. That's kind of how it started. Uh, we're making our brandy old-fashioned cherry pie. And uh, the first step in the process, we, uh, we set a fire. We light the brandy on fire, cook off some of the uh, alcohol so it's not so boozy. And it leaves you with uh, just some good brandy flavor. During the year, it's, uh, it's myself, it's my cousin, Jerron, who's behind me. And uh, Jerron, he, uh, he, he never gets enough credit, because, mostly because he doesn't, uh, he doesn't like to be on camera so much. But he's, <laughs> Jerron's really a teddy bear on the inside. He just looks tough. I, I was five or six, and my grandmother uh, literally just did not kick me out of the kitchen. And uh, as a result, I, I got to develop and learn from her. She had this, uh, for her, I think cooking and was her way of taking care of everybody. And uh, looking back on it, she was cooking for a lot of people every day with very limited resources, but that was her passion and her way of taking care of people and loving people through food. And I, I got that from her early on. Later, years later, I, I found myself, I sold investments for 10 years and I found myself out of work. And uh, like I said earlier, people were calling and they wanted sweet potato pie and I would never sell them to them. Then, then sometimes what you're looking for is uh, right under your nose. got a couple dozen eggs and we just got started. So far, so well. Five years later, we're, we're still selling pies. <laughs> so at this stage, we've got uh, some red tart cherries and they're, the juice is draining down to the bottom. Then behind me, we've got, uh, this is two half gallons of, uh, of brandy that we've cooked off the alcohol. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pour this through the cherries. So there'll be the cherry juice and the, and the brandy will come together at the bottom of the bucket. So I was thinking about Wisconsin, I was thinking about cherry pie, and a friend of mine said, uh, you should put cognac in the cherries. And I was like, ooh, that sounded good. Also sounded very expensive. Um, and then out of that, it was like, boom, brandy old fashioned. And once I thought about it, I was like, oh, I've, uh, I've had my share of Brandy Old Fashioned, so I, I knew that uh, all the flavors is something that uh, resonated with me right away. And uh, I, I knew we had a, a winner even just before we even made one. This is the juice and the brandy. We're gonna return that to a small heat there. With the, with the heat, we're, we're reducing down, so you're getting more brandy flavor and more cherry flavor. And while that's going on, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna blend in some uh, some cornstarch to begin to turn it into uh, cherry filling. People tell me this all the time. They, they tell me like, uh, Milwaukee needs you. It's important that we support this, these businesses because if people, what will happen is as they grow, you create opportunities for, uh, for folks to actually work here in the community. And I think that is the, that is the key versus uh, all the jobs being uh, out of town. If we're actually doing the creating, and uh, we have local people that are believing and supporting, then those jobs can, uh, can stay here in the city. And I think that's the, probably the most important thing that Milwaukee needs is uh, more successful small businesses. Any good brandy old fashion is gonna have a little orange peel muddled into it with the sugar. And that gives it, uh, begins to give it some of that orange flavor that it needs to go with the cherry. This is a, um, a taste of the, the previous batter. 
we, I got in the habit of adding a, a little bit of this and saving it just for flavor. Like this stuff, the uh, orange zest and the uh, brandy has had a chance to, to sit for a few days. Uh, we're looking for uh, the, the brandy old-fashionedness, meaning the, uh, you want to be able to taste the brandy, you want to be able to taste the, uh, the citrus from the orange, and you definitely, we got enough cherries in here, so we wanted to come together and give you some of the notes from the drink. It should taste like the, uh, like the drink does. My grandmother would be very happy that, that I'm doing this, that I'm that I'm baking and that uh, it would not have happened without her for sure. I would not have been cooking at a young age. I wouldn't have been baking at a young age. Um, if she was here, she would be very, very proud and very, uh, very happy. I'm sure it would bring a smile to her face. When I sold investments, I used to make clients if I had a great day. I just make friends all day now in comparison. It, it's, it's amazing. But it's that immediate gratification of, you know, you could easily be the, the best part of somebody's day. They can get a, a fork full of pie and they love you for it. Just off the freeway, halfway between Madison, Wisconsin and the Twin Cities in Minnesota is Osseo, home to roughly 1,700 people, but almost more importantly, the Norski Nook and its terrific pies. Not just terrific in a normal bake sale, even state fair kind of blue ribbon manner, but 46 national prize winning pies. It's also home to some great Norwegian cuisine and as a destination for anyone that loves good things to eat, it's a must. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm wonderful. How good. are you? Good, good. Welcome to the North Skinook. My Thank name is Marlene. Having a little breakfast with us this morning? Or? Uh, well, I think all good things at the North Skinook start with pie first, right? They do. Yeah. They do. But do you have a favorite pie? Lingonberry apple double crust. Do you want to think about that? No. <laughs> no, positive, positive on that one. Out of how many pies, Marlene, how many to choose from? 73, I believe it is, 72. Wow. Now, I love pie, but I think I could even be daunted by that many options. So I'm going to let you be my guide. Okay, all yeah. right. Good. What would you like to see first? Uh, I was told I'd get a tour of the kitchen. Okay, all, all right. right. And maybe even be put back to work. We'll get an apron for you. Oh, good. A blue right. one like yours? You can. Yeah, right on. <laughs> All right. And this is our bakery. Oh, Marlene, you get to walk into this room every day. I do. The smell of fresh baked pies is heaven, happiness, paradise, all of those rolled into one. Exactly, exactly. All right, so I'm here to meet the baker. This is Kim. Kim Hi, Kim. Kyle. You're the one that's won all the awards, I hear. I'm one of the ones, yes. Okay, and how long have you been baking at North Nook? About 21 years. So you're one of the new girls? Absolutely. <laughs> so I feel uncomfortable standing in a kitchen without proper apron attire and so forth. Well, let's get one for you and we'll get you right to work. How about oh. that? Oh, good. Good, good, good. All right. I'm right. ready to slice. We can, we can roll out some dough. So I'm going to roll one, mm -hmm. and then the other one you're going to get to do. How about that? All right, fair. All right, so fair we enough. have this little dough ball. Mm -hmm. This is the equivalent of watching a really great, you know, blackjack dealer in a casino, just handle the cards while they survey the table. Wow. Place your bets, please. I'm making pies. I think, I think we should see okay. what yours looks like. All right. You're going to go for an oval shape. An oval shape. So not shape. a ton of pressure. Oh, I'm already screwing up, aren't I? All right, that's it. That's it. Now you're going to pick it up. And now you're going to go in an X motion. Not a lot of pressure. Not a lot of not pressure. Not a lot of pressure. Easy does it? Yes. OK. And then, yep. 
How am I doing? And come back this way. All right, so now you're yeah, gonna. This is, but I wanted to do that. It was yeah, so you're cool gonna, the way you you're did gonna it. You're gonna do this over this. This is this yep. is like the Jedi move, right? There you go. Move, right? I'll pick it up. Yep. Lay it in. Absolutely. See, look at that. Wow. Well. All right, so wait. Now you're gonna. This is the most asymmetrical pie crust ever <laughs> no. created in the Norsky Nook legendary no. kitchens. No, oh look it, I just broke it. So now you're just gonna tuck it under. Okay. All right, all the way around. Yep. See, look at how well you're doing. I am you're not doing, really oh, proud yeah, of this. Yeah, yeah, just wait yeah. though. Now uh, it's, it's gonna look just like this. So now get your pinchers ready. Get my pinchers ready. Yep, and so now you're just going to pinch mm -hmm. and twist. Oh. That's it. And then just keep on going. It's all a little different than lift and separate. It's pinch, pinch and twist. You got it. Okay. All the way around. This is the Norsky Nook pie twist. Well, we all kind of crimp different, but they You can say that again, but it's public television, ma'am. <laughs> we all roll different. We all crimp different. We you all betcha. do, yeah. All right, so where do we go from here, my dear? We are gonna make sour cream raisin pudding, and then we are going to meringue it. Okay, so here we have the mixture for the sour cream raisin pudding. And the first time that I've ever had this pie, it was such a classic Scandinavian taste profile. When did you have it? Here, the last time I was here. <laughs> Can I do a figure eight here? Yep. I mean, I know you've been baking since 5.30 this morning. <laughs> and you can see as it, it got super, super thick here for yeah, you. Yeah, it really So did. then if you stop stirring for a minute it's and you lift this up, oh, it pulls away. That. And so it is It's cooked. the blob. It is cooked. <laughs> okay. So we can turn it turn off. Turn the heat yep. off. All of this is going to fit in that little pie crust. All of this. Okay, let's go. Are you ready? Every last little morsel. The scent that's coming off of this is pure dairy raisin heaven. And I cannot believe, I cannot believe that all of that fit into that pie crust. And then we're gonna meringue this now. We're gonna put a meringue on it. All right, to the meringue. This is like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. solid meringue station because there are two kitchen aids, not just one. Yeah. <laughs> no, we need a lot. Meringues, we start with egg whites. Egg whites. Just a couple. <laughs> and then we add some cream of tartar. Okay. And we let that whip. And we let it whip until you see peaks in it. And once it hits that stage, we add the sugar. And then it becomes this glossy, stiff concoction that we build into a mountain. When it turns to peaks, that's when you know. Yes. Yeah, when it kind of comes together. You can together. almost see it right in the mixer as they ripple around. So now you can see that we have the peaks in the meringue. So we are ready to add the powdered sugar. We're gonna add a couple cups there. <laughs> a good hearty. All right. All right, I don't wanna powder my meringue too soon. All right. And now you're gonna raise the bowl back up and you're gonna start it on low Probably. or you will have a powdered sugar cloud. Okay, here we go. And then once it's all mixed in, you can put it all the way back up to high. So I would say with all these ripples in here right now, feeling good? We're looking like we're done. All right. We need to take that off. You can just. Oh no, you with your smooth moves don't need to take that off. Well, how about I start and you can finish the meringue? You hold my hand. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, that might be kind of tough. I don't know how this will spin while we're doing that, but okay. All right, so we start with a base layer. Just a little bit. Well, yes. <laughs> and we do not go all the way out to the edge. No, no, that would be, that would just be impractical. And this is all the portion that we made for one pie. For one pie, yes. Uh -huh. Mine, when it gets done, looks like a top hat. All right, 
So I, I get quite a foundation for you. I'm gonna pass the spatula. <laughs> you finish it off. There's no pressure. No pressure. Don't knock anything over, no. Cherrick. No. Okay, big dollop. Smush it down. And then turn. I've oh, got... that is exactly how I did it. Oh, not at all. <laughs> Are you kidding? I think I'm getting the hang of it. Yeah, you, you, still have, <laughs> you still have quite a bit of meringue there. There shouldn't be that much of a pause. I'm sorry. <laughs> Try uh, it again. <laughs> this is really scaring me. This is a lot of meringue that I'm managing. Yes. And how am I doing, Kim? <laughs> so, I don't, if, yep, if you want to take it. I would love to. Oh. Whoa, this feels very, this is like handling a newborn baby. <laughs> when friends have one and you come over and you say, no, 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 I'd love to hold your child. The amount of responsibility that just ripples through your being, it's pretty much happening right now. All right, rest easy, my friend. We'll be back. You've got greatness in you, I know it. Thank you. Yep. I'll see you in a little 45. Yes. Yeah, yep. okay, good. Hello, Cindy. Welcome to North Kinook. Thank you. Al Coleman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, of the 72 pies available, what would you, Cindy, say that I should start with? So there's an apple lingonberry or there's a lingonberry sour cream. So the apple lingonberry is a double crust. Yeah, let's go there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a, I think a it's stir pretty warm. It just came out of the oven, so. I like that. <laughs> oh. Harvest apple. I'll let him have the, and Kyle can have warm, the lingonberry so apple. The first bite. And I'll bring coffee Thank you, you Marlene. Yeah. So this is the harvest apple. Well, I chose this one because we only serve this one in October and November in the fall. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's one of my favorites because it's its only served in the fall. So, But um, it's got caramel and pecans baked in with the apples. <laughs> just putting them on top, that, yeah. would be, that would be really, it's I don't just, know, underestimating yeah. the strength of this pie. The lingonberry apple is fabulous too because the lingonberries you're not going to find just anywhere. We import them. Exactly. And to mix that tart with the sweet of the apple and our flaky pie crust, it's just. Mm. So you can have That's all the I great mixtures in the world in a pie, but if you don't have a flaky crust. Yeah, the crust makes a big difference. It really does. All right, here goes a piece of history. Here goes something. So this is lingonberry and apple. Lingonberry and apple. Yeah. It's all in the crust, and that is the perfect combination. It leads with the lingonberry. It rolls around to that warm apple. The cinnamon is perfect, and the sugar on top. It's a great piece of pie. What I adore about the Norski Nook is that it feels so legit. Uh, the walls almost have the vibrations of all the folks from the town and all the people that are driven between the cities. Yeah, it's we're here. kind of the halfway point here in Osseo between Madison and Minneapolis. And, and actually, you bring that up, that's how we got our name, the Norski Nook, is um, across the street, there was a group of Norwegian farmers that would sit in a corner booth similar to this every morning for coffee, and that's the Norski Nook came out. <laughs> Marlene, I meringue, therefore I am. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, this is like Christmas morning when you're four years old. Hi, Kim. <laughs> you are the Rodin of meringue. I mean, this is amazing. That's your meringue. Well, That's your pie. I had a really Look great it. instructor. Hey. Yeah. I'm going to see. Okay. You've, this is. Oh, I'm, my God. Oh, it's, it's sort of bowing. bowing in a sad, defeated 
way. Look at that clump of, this is a solid, it's its own continent of meringue. <laughs> this is a two fork deal. Okay, here goes a lot. Mm. You know how good this is. I do, I do. You get to work here every day. I know. You, you don't look like this without eating pie every day. It just doesn't happen. Thank Today. you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, Enjoy. it is. This is a moving moment. <laughs> and I'm overexposed to a great deal of really good food. You have topped not the cake, but the pie and the meringue and physics and all kinds of other things. It's delicious. I'm glad you like it. Thank you. You did a wonderful job. Wisconsin Foodie would like to thank the following underwriters for their support. Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board and the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin. Packaging your vision for food and beverage. American Kitchen Cookware is helping food lovers everywhere embrace their own culinary adventure. Outpost Natural Foods, a proud supporter of local, organic, and Wisconsin foodie. Society Insurance, small details, big difference. Potawatomi Hotel and Casino. The Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources. Lamers Bus Lines, providing Wisconsin with deluxe motor coach service, school busing, and more. Also, with support of the Friends of Wisconsin Public Television. Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board, representing the dairy farm families of Wisconsin, who fostered a proud history with generations of family-owned dairy farms, working to sustain the state's economy through job growth and providing acclaimed cheeses and other dairy products. Every product tells a story, and every story starts with a seed. Your story, your product, your company all started with an idea. Hilling Company ensures you have the right packaging to help you proudly take your harvest to market. Hilling Company is dedicated to packaging your vision. American Kitchen Cookware is proud to support Wisconsin Foodie in helping food lovers everywhere embrace their own culinary adventure. With cookware manufactured right here in Wisconsin, we're working every day to make people's lives better in and out of the kitchen.